Well, talk about it because it's actually it's a new drug and it? it's an, it's what we call first in class. So it's a drug that's treating part of the problem in pH has not been able to be treated before. So it's exciting. I think that's the first thing, and that's and we're excited by it. It potentially is very important, but is it more important than the others? Time will tell, but it's new, new in class, and it's the first new drug that we've had for, for many years. So that's the reason why we, 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 we're talking about it so much. And it's coming to the point where it is available in certain parts of the world because it's got a, its license. And that's something we're gonna talk about um, and I want to talk about today. Um, if we use the, the, the license in America, which most people will talk, talk about, so the Federal Drug Agency in America has given this drug a license, okay? And that means it can be used in America. And if, if the people with pH, if it, it fits the criteria and the insurance companies will pay for it, and, and the, the physicians, the doctors, nurses they do, they will have access to it. Where is it in, in this part of the world, so in Europe and in the UK, it still has to get a European licence, OK? And we think that that will be sometime this year. So that's sometime in 2024. We can't say if they're exact, but that could be sometime in, then. We have to remember, and this is a bit about sort of checking where we're at in this, that once it gets a European licence, it will have to get, because we're outside Europe now as a, as a, as a, a country, it will have to then get a, a UK licence. And again, that time scale, we're not absolutely certain where that will be. So once a drug gets a licence, particularly in areas like pH, these drugs are, qu are very expensive, not quite expensive, very expensive. So getting a licence is only part of the issue. The next thing is to get access to it okay and that many people will hear and it's been around for a long time the national institute of clinical excellence okay and most of the drugs that we now presently use in ph have had to go through some process there will be a new process that the national institute of clinical excellence will put this drug through okay and what what they're doing there is that they will only they will only look at drugs that have got a license so license doesn't mean you can have it the next stage is the national institute of clinical excellence will look at things like and primarily it is about whatever the benefit of this drug is is the benefit worth the cost of the drug to the nhs it's a really simple as that okay and that's the bit that we then get a, a very much involved with as a, a, an organization our role one of the jobs that we've done and we've done it for the last sort of 15 to 20 years every drug we've been involved at that level okay we as a patient organization can't present clinical data that's not what we're at what we can do is present the patient story, the patient narrative. What is it like to be impacted by pH? Why the, the potential benefits of this drug are worth it, okay? And in rare disease areas, that's even more difficult because we're talking about small groups of people wanting or needing access to expensive therapies. And however difficult that is, and however difficult it is to, 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 for that to be palatable, that's what we, we are very good at, and that's what we're, 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 we're getting ready for it now. What are these challenges? I, I, there are many challenges, but without doubt, the big elephant in the room in rare diseases is the cost of the drugs, okay? And it's a long time since we've heard in the news about really expensive drugs, but in rare diseases, cost of drugs are there. So the biggest challenge will be saying, it, I, I don't know what the cost of this drug will be. We, we've got some idea what it is in different parts of the world. And, and some people might be surprised, in different countries, drugs are sold at different prices, okay? There's not one job price for it. So we don't know what the price is gonna be there, but what, what NICE look at is the price of that drug. So, you know, there, there are many challenges, and unfortunately, the challenges I'm sure, is once it gets its license, will be the cost of the drug. So I think just to re recap, we can be very positive. I think we can be really positive. This, this drug will get a license. That's a real positive, okay? And it's a real positive because it's a new drug. It's a real positive because it's a, this thing first in class, so it's treating part of the problem that's not been able to be treated before. We have to have a right reality check, but that's a reality check with enthusiasm that we can we can deal with these issues, these these fights, these, these conversations, these challenges that we've got of getting access to it for the right people, okay? And the reason, the way we will do that is we, I can promise you as chair of this PHA UK, we'll put effort, every effort into any drug that we think is, is, is has a place in the world of pH, okay? And this is one of them. 
Um, and the way that we will do it, we will need our members, their families, uh, etc., to get engaged. When we when we do surveys and research and ask you what what is it like and impacts and stuff like, that, we need you to get engaged in it because the bigger the number in rare diseases is so much more important. So I think just to summarise, so as with all the things that we've done in PH and accessing drugs, that we are so much stronger together.